Thanks for joining me on my market report. My name is Mike, and my market report is on mortgage rates. We kind of get into what's impacting mortgage rates on on a daily basis, whether if it's uh, from economic calendar that might be popping up, something that could impact rates, or if it's something in the headline news, or uh, maybe there's something in the market sentiment. We kind of give you the uh, background information so that way if you guys are in the process of refinancing or purchasing and are most likely looking at rates, uh, this will hopefully give you some educated, uh, help you make an educated decision for yourself to make, uh, whether to lock in or if you want to kind of hold off from locking and maybe just go down the process a little bit. So this will hopefully give you some guidelines uh, for it. Uh, a little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work with the National Lender, so I'd love to be able to earn your business. So please reach out uh, if you guys uh, got any refi opportunities or purchase opportunities. Love to be able to earn your business, and I'll help you guys out. So uh, please reach out. And meanwhile, if you also got questions regarding uh, mortgage rates or different loan programs out there or uh, just anything in general, just please feel free to reach out here. We're here to help you guys out. We'd love to be able to touch base with you guys and communicate. Uh, you know, it's a fun community here, so we love to be able, again, uh, to be in connect, connect with you guys. Uh, without further ado, we'll just jump right into this. We'll start off with the economic data. We got basically just two items here, and that is housing starts and building permits. So building permits, of course, are future housing starts. So housing starts uh, for the month of September, month over month. Uh, we had 1.615 annualized seasonally adjusted annualized units uh, for the month of August. However, that did get revised lower uh, down to 1.58. Forecast has gone for an uptick to 1.62 and actually lowered uh, 1.55 uh, seasonally adjusted uh, annualized units there. Uh, and of course, that's about 1.6% drop from the previous year. Now, on the other hand, we got the building permits. As you can see here for August, it was at 1.721 million seasonally adjusted uh, units here. And forecast was supposed to be a slight dip down to 1.68, and it dropped much further uh, to 1.589 million units here. And that was a 7.7% drop. So that's a pretty big drop there. Uh, if, if you watched our video yesterday, we talked a little bit about the home bar or the home builder confidence. It did go up. However, they do still uh, talk a little bit about the um, uh, supply and labor uh, issues. So that's still a concern for them. They still feel kind of confident about the markets, but it just for them, it's uh, the supply and the labor is what's, drive, what's making things difficult for them to complete these uh, tasks. So that's probably why you're seeing a slight pullback on it because they can't keep up with the demand uh, due to those supply chain issues. Now, in the side of these numbers also on the housing starts is single family, uh, the numbers were pretty much in line. Where the big drop off it was is on multi multi unit family properties, so that's where you're kind of seeing the biggest uh, drop in in these numbers right here, uh, for the most part here. So uh, a little about uh, headline news today: stocks are up. They're mostly taking their cue from the uh, uh, earnings reports. Uh, they've been kind of watching because they've been concerned about Q3 with the higher energy prices that might cut in, in higher income. That maybe might be cutting into the profits of companies, but they've been showing some pretty strong earnings sports, but uh, higher than normal, uh, been uh, posting profits and beating estimates on there. So they've been doing quite well for the most part on there. So the, the stock market is taking its cue more from that. We do got a few Fed members speaking today, so we could potentially see some movement depending on what they say uh, out there. So we'll jump right in here now to take a look at what mortgage rates are doing today. Uh, we were down a much further. We started the day off higher. We did come down a little bit, but not enough on either direction uh, to make a difference in terms of uh, uh, price changes uh, from where we left off yesterday. We ended up closing down eight basis points, even though we're, when I think when I did the report, we were down like around 14. Uh, so we did pull back a little bit, which helped us out. And then today, uh, this is good news that we started off higher. So hopefully we might see a little bit bounce upwards, uh, continue a trend upwards here on this um, trajectory here. Uh, so right now we're down about two basis points. Again, what that translates to is uh, mortgage rates being unchanged from yesterday's close. Uh, here's what it looks like today so far. We have some pretty big fluctuations here. Uh, as you see opening up here, uh, different closes here. So this is kind of what it looked like so far today, the different movements on the candlestick chart here, uh, what it looks like here. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at what the uh, treasuries are doing. Uh, they were kind of spiking earlier. Yeah, we we're still pretty high right now. They're at one six. Three, so they've been kind of t testing this level up here. 
So unfortunately, uh, treasuries or yields have been rising, uh, adding more pressure to mortgage-backed securities. All right, and one more. Uh, we'll take a look at the national average for mortgage rates. So a 30-year fix is now 3.21, and 15 years at 2.6 now. Again, these do have some points built into them, uh, but these are just kind of the national average out there of what you can expect for a conforming limit uh, program out there. All right, so hopefully these uh, videos help provide you some good insight and help you make uh, decisions. We may see a little bit of bounce back with this trajectory here. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but again, uh, the good news is today it's unchanged. It didn't get worse and didn't keep this trajectory here lower. Uh, so that was good news. So we may see uh, a little bit of reprieve or at least come tr some retrace back to some improvement here uh, in the near term. All right, folks, again, uh, if you guys like these videos, greatly appreciate if you guys could smash that like button. It would certainly help us out. And, uh, again, we're here to help you guys out. If you guys got questions or if we can uh, at least try to earn your business for purchase or refinance, again, please reach out. We'd love to be able to talk to you on how we can help you guys out. You guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.